Fall Guys is a super popular new game. And if you watch this video, I'm sure you have played it, or maybe you really want to. Our goal is to help you win the most of the rounds you are playing on Fall Guys. We will go over 10 tips and tricks that will help you win every round of this really fun battle royale game. If you learned something that you didn't know before, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to get more gaming knowledge. Enough of me talking now, let's get into the video. Number 12 When playing Hoarders, two out of three teams qualify. You can either try to make your own team win, or you can try to make the team that is on last place at the moment lose. Either way, you need to have ball control. So here's the tip, don't just rush for the ball when you get the opportunity, try to make tactical moves when the ball is pretty free. Number 11 The Fall Guys minigame DC Hides is a place where many people do the wrong thing. When you run through the turntables, you should run the direction they're going, even if it's a longer way to the finish line. Oh, please, never go against the way they are going, because that will only make life harder for you. Number 10 You just gotta jump on the fence slash rails when playing the map Seesaw. That will help you so much that you don't fall by other people pushing you. You also get more in the middle of the map, and that is really good because it's a faster way to the finish line. If you're not really sure you can land on the fence, that's okay. Do what felt best for you in the beginning, but try to learn how to do it later. Number 9 When you're at the world gig and are jumping over the beams, one trick that may help you is that if you stand in a good way, the beams may be able to launch you forward, so you get ahead of everyone. Note that this can backfire and be bad for you. I really do recommend trying it, for at least a couple of times, so you know if it works. Number 8 When playing the seesaw, you want to have patience and be smart about it. If everybody is going left, then go right. You shouldn't follow the crowd in this scenario. Before we move on, I just want to tell you my main trick for this one. When you jump on the seesaw, you should jump facing sideways, because that will give you a better grip so you can easier go to the next one. Number 7 Fruit shoot is a trickier map, just because there is giant fruits coming at you when you're also running up an escalator going the wrong way. I got a really good tip for you who have a hard time finishing this map. If there is a big fruit coming at you, Dive sideways and try your best to dodge it. You should also try running either the left or right because those purple pyramids will give you a little bit of protection. Sometimes though you will get hit by a fruit and there's nothing you can really do about it. Number 6 Tiptoe is the minigame where you guess the path to get into the finish line. To find the path you or someone else got to move forward on the orange blocks. And sometimes it's the right path, but other times you will fall down and have to start over. My tip is that you should run a bit behind the crowd. This will make you not fall and still be able to be qualified. Just don't run too far behind though, because there's often just a few people that can qualify in this round. Number 5 The gate crash minigame is similar to tiptoe. The minigame is about running through doors and seeing which ones will break and which ones won't. The way it's similar to tiptoe is that it's not rewarding to be brave. You should stay in the background and let the others try which doors will work. When you're at the last door, you may need to risk jumping into a gate if you're first. Number 4 When jumping on downward slopes, it will give you momentum so you can get down from them faster. 
Be careful though not to jump when there's too many people around, as it's really easy to get knocked down by other people. You can also try to dive just before landing to get a better balance. Number 3. Become the goalkeeper of fall ball. When playing fall ball, you should try to become the goalkeeper to save the ball from going in. Not many people want to do this, but that's exactly why you should do it. It will give your team a huge advantage. If this makes it less fun, you can try doing it for a little while, because people will probably join you. After some people are goalkeeping with you, you can just sneak away and leave them to do it instead of you. Number 2 When you're trying to stop your opponent's team ball, try to just push it fast, like herding a sheep. Don't try standing in front of it and push, because that can make it go over your head. And when that happens, that can allow it to get forward momentum, so the ball goes even faster than it did before. Before we go to number 1, I just want to tell you that if you like this content and want more of it, please subscribe to me, because I post this content every week. So, subscribe now and we'll go back to the video. Number 1 When playing rollout, use the walls as a safety net when you're doing risky plays. This will help you not to fall off from the rollers. Only do this when there's not that many people around you, so they don't push you away from your safety net. This has helped a lot of people a ton, so they don't fall off. Bonus tip. I wanted to tell you a little tip that is pretty obvious but can still help you. When doing all of the minigames, play it out smart. What I mean by this is that you should go the fastest way without making it harder for yourself. It's like the tip slash trick I mentioned earlier. When playing tiptoe, you should stay in the background and let the other players do the work for you, instead of the other way around. We really hope you liked this video. We are trying out a new concept of doing tips and tricks videos, so if you want more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, so we know you like it. Thank you for watching, stay safe.